Okay guys, so if you saw my 300 sub video, you know the aftermath that happened. And originally I was gonna make this a huge creating display video, but that would actually take forever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably going to just do these all, I probably won't do it all tonight. I'll do some tonight and some like tomorrow. And then uh, I'll just film my whole new shelf tour basically. Um, <laughs> I know I do a lot of shelf tour and shelf stuff, but uh, I really enjoy making these videos. And that was kind of half the reason I had Ram destroy it is because the Spider-Man shelf, it was getting too crowded. And here's an excuse. So I'm going to take all the Avenger hero stuff and I'm thinking about moving them there and putting the Suicide Squad there. Because there's just where my random figures go and I'm probably going to put away all the friendship stuff really. I know it's sad, but so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to, I'm probably going to start first with i guess i gotta start with this shelf really so yeah so it is the next day and the shelf is done um i'm pretty happy with how it turned out basically the top shelf is almost all spider-man stuff now except for the little bit of avengers and like classic villains up there um so i moved the avengers down with my justice league um and i do have some like comic hero figures too which I kind of threw in there so I had literally nowhere else to put them um so yeah I have my Avengers here I think it looks pretty cool it's a bit crammed of course but what are you gonna do I don't know where the Justice League symbol went it just fell off and the shelf was destroyed um but if you do know the Suicide Squad was right here and now I moved them down here to this little shelf and this basically used to be the Star Wars shelf here, let me turn this light on. And now, it is the DC shelf. So, DC used to be up there. And, uh, I moved them back down to here, which is where I think they used to be down here for a bit. Um, and occasionally I, I put Star Wars down here. It really depends. But, basically, they're all down here. And I think this turned out really cool. I love all my DC villains that I, I've made. Basically, these are, these are all customs, and I'm pretty happy with it. I can't wait to get the McFarlane Clayface. Really one of the few McFarlane figures that I actually can't wait to get, um, because that will look awesome in the back there. Then down here, I have my Flash villains, and then just some random figures that I had nowhere else to go. Normally, my random figures and the friendship figures were up here, but uh, I turned the friendship figures back into what they originally were and put uh like paul and then some gi joe and that random doc ock and stuff down there and my two comic justice league members for now eventually i want to grow the team more i don't know where i'll put them though when i get a bigger team for them um so yeah here's how it's looking these lights always fall down all the time so they've kind of thumbtacked up there it's a bit like sketchy but you know we're we're working with what we can okay anyways let's go up here to the big shelf for now so we got all these classic and like avengers and just normal marvel villains right here um eventually i really want to get ultron and dormammu which i'll fit in there somewhere um but yeah i really like this shelf want to get more classic villains eventually but I am a big Spider-Man collector, and basically from here on over, it goes into Spider-Man, so, yeah. So, we do have the Lethal Legion here, and that's kind of the cutoff point, point. Um, and I kind of transition, like, like, I would classify someone like Kingpin as kind of a Spider-Man villain and a Marvel villain, same with, like, Batroc and stuff, so I kind of have it slowly transition over. Um, so, here's my, like, mob boss, like, characters and stuff like that. I know Silver Sable isn't traditionally one, but... In Spectac Spectacular Spider-Man, she is the daughter of Silvermane. Eventually, I want to get a body for Silvermane. And when I get Hammerhead, he'll probably go in there somewhere. And when I get Shocker, he'll go, like, right here somewhere for my uh, superior foes. Um, so, yeah. Superior foes is right there. Still really like this. We need a new overdrive. Or, we need an overdrive, Hasbro, please. Um, and then we kind of just start moving over into the normal villains. So I got like Sin Eater and Jack-O-Lantern. 
Moon Knight isn't a villain, but I already had a Moon Knight down there. And so I just figured I'd put him on a Spider-Man shelf since he's an ally of Spider-Man. Uh, Scorpion, Hydra-Man, Morlun, uh, Puma, White Rabbit, Jackal, Frogman, uh, Black Cat, Carnage, Big Wheels back there with his wheel. Morbius, I need a better pose for him. He's kind of just sitting there, really. And Spot is back there. Then we've got our symbiotes. Again, I want to grow the symbiotes a bit more. Um, they need. I need to get, uh, what's her name, Shriek or whatever, or, or not, whatever the, the yellow lady is from the Future Foundation, not Future, Life Foundation, whatever. Um, I still like how this has turned out though. Really cool looking. And I want to get like Toxin. They need to make a Riot and Agony too for that team. And then I'll be pretty content with it. And I'll probably get Null too when he comes out. And then I got two of my goblins back there. Once I get the new Retro Hobgoblin, I'll turn that back into Demo Goblin. My Spider-Man custom, some allies like Miles, just Peter, Spider-Ham, Superior Spider-Man. And then I kind of ran out of room, so I just squeezed the Sinister Six right here. We got Vulture in the back, Sandman, Craven. Doc Ock, Mysterio's hanging on the ledge there, and then I literally ran out of room for Electro, so I just put him flying on the end there, but I do think it looks pretty cool. Then I'll go over Star Wars real quick, so I got my prequel era stuff right here. I really did squeeze these all into one shelf. Um, the shelf starts to bow a bit when they were on here before, um, and I took them off and it went back to normal, so I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't follow me. <laughs> Anyways, prequel era stuff. I haven't really been collecting Black Series that much recently. The line's kind of been disappointing to me with the lack of, like, anywhere you can get them. And just overall laziness from the team. So maybe I'll get back into it later. I got my uh, sequel era. Pretty cool. Um, again, the friendship bodies have been designated back to their original house. So, yeah. And then Empire stuff which Empire is probably my favorite part of the Star Wars shelf. I got so many Stormtroopers and stuff, and I really like it. And there's my little bag behind us. So, if I just do one overall look at the shelf, um, I think it looks pretty cool. And a glimpse of that. And yeah, that's about it. So I did want to showcase this. I got a little foam head for my Paul mask. My sister made me that. That's pretty awesome, huh? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little shelf tour and whatever. And yeah, catch you guys later. Peace.